Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm sorry, I look exhausted, guys. It's early, like early, early, like no one should be awake right now. <laughs> Nobody. Um, so anyways, I hope all my Cancer babies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so my loves, if you're interested in crystals to clear negative energy, uh, insomnia, depression, psychic attack, um, uh, chakras clearing here healing the chakras you could visit kim k crystals the link for her website is below um she does go live on facebook right now it's friday nights but she's going to be going live more often okay so just pull this back um she is going to be going live more often so if you want to check her out on facebook um i do choose winners at those live events she gives away a bunch of stuff it is a lot of fun okay um Special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111 and Owl Tarot. The link for uh, the links for all the websites for recommended readers are below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. I do a huge giveaway every single month. Um, I give away a ton of stuff. In the description box below, you will see everything that I give away. Um, just hashtag what you would like to manifest in the giveaway in the comment section below. Okay, and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced okay um all right so let's go ahead and get started uh i am on patreon for cancers if you're going to subscribe to patreon please only choose the weekly tarot scope because the monthly um tier that i have is not no longer going to be available as of april 1st okay uh we are in march right yes april 4 <laughs> april 1st <laughs> it's too early all right guys let's get started holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for my cancers please what messages do my can oh okay that wanted to come out what messages the judgment card what messages do we have for my cancers sagittarian energy messages for my cancers please spirit three of swords three of swords the devil capricorn energy Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. There you are, the King of Cups, Cancerian energy. Scorpio, Piscean energy. The Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And the Four of Swords. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. The moon card in the reverse, seven of pentacles in the reverse, we have the sun card in the reverse, Leo energy, and the knight of cups in the reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Under the deck we have the ace of wands and the two of cups. So Cancer, what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling here we have a situation where I feel like you made a judgment call based on the fact that you thought that someone here um was stable um you made a judgment call based on the fact that you felt a strong soul tie with somebody like you thought you were meant to be with this person um, but the heartache attached to this connection was a little bit more than what you could handle. Okay. I feel that, um, with the hermit card here, you're taking a step back. You're like, I need a minute to breathe. I need a minute to think about this. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the devil and the moon card, you, there's a sense of the fog is lifting. Rose colored glasses are coming off, okay? Um, you're starting to see the lies. You're starting to see the toxicity. You're starting to see this person's true colors and see them for who and what they really are. So with the king of cups energy here, Cancer, in your divine masculine energy, um, even though you still carry a lot of love for this person, tremendous amount of emotion for this person you're starting to gain control over your feelings with the seven of pentacles in the reverse you're starting to um 
not want to invest emotionally in this connection anymore or even financially into this connection anymore. I feel that with the Knight of Pentacles and the Sun in the reverse, um, for a very long time, Cancer, you didn't want to see the truth of this. You just didn't want to believe. You really had faith. You really had faith that this was your divinely guided soulmate. You had faith that this would lead to marriage. You had faith that this would, you know, lead to stability. But with the Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups, there's a sense of, I just can't do it anymore. I need to heal. You understand? You could only give so much of yourself and not get anything back until you just run dry. You know, you just, you did the well has run dry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just can't do it anymore. Um, the Knight of Cups in the reverse, you got no more love to give. You've got, uh, you're just out of gas. I'm literally hearing the t -t 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're stalling out, Cancer. You, you've had enough, okay? With the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups here with the Two of Swords, I feel like, you know, you're, you're just... Um, I feel like you're ready for something new, Cancer. You're ready for passion. You're ready for love. And with the Two of Swords here, I feel like um, perhaps someone here wasn't giving to a connection because someone here, I don't want to say player mode, but you may have been dealing with someone that just wasn't ready to commit Cancer. You're in a Four of Wands energy here where you're wanting um, commitment, stability, marriage, a home, a family, and this person's kind of still all over the place. You know, they're on a horse. That You're sitting down. This person's you know, on a horse. Okay. You're sitting down, you're stable. You're waiting for someone to take the throne next to you. And this person is coming and going and all over the place pursue, you know, they see, they see something shiny over there. So something that they want to touch and talk to, and they're off, on, they're off on their horse, you know, while you're still sitting on your throne. Um, does it make them a bad person? We're all entitled to what we want. We're all entitled. You know, you can't force someone to feel a certain way, right, Cancer? But, you know, you're just on two separate pages here. You're on two separate pages here. Um, I feel like this person, we've got the Page of Cups. We've got the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person is coming in as a page. I feel like they offer very little promise, very little money, very little love, very little of everything. And with the Queen of Swords, you're done. You're done being on the fence. You're done not knowing what's happening here. I feel like you're manifesting a new love. We've got the Ace of Wands. We've got the Ace of Cups. You're manifesting a King of Pentacles energy, a Hierophant energy, strong Taurus energy, Six of Wands. You're manifesting with temperance, peace, and prosperity into your life, okay? You've been patient long enough. You're, you're calling your angels in. You're calling your guides in. You're calling the divine in God in to help heal your heart because you want a serious connection here. You're looking for something serious, something stable, and you're very abundant. Nine of Pentacles energy, pre-empress energy, Virgo energy. You're very abundant. You've probably worked very hard to be abundant to that level. Um, you've worked hard for what you have, and you want someone to share that with, you know, and that's that's okay, you know, but I feel like you're counting your losses here, Cancer. You're knowing when to pull out of the race, even though you want to keep going, you're just, you're just stalling out, you know, you just, there's nothing left here for you to give to this situation. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Tell me about the judgment card, please, Spirit. The judgment card for my Cancers. Two of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you opened your heart to this person. You really just opened your whole heart space and made this this very strong judgment call. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Yeah, you you made this strong judgment call that with the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Swords that this was going to move forward into this very stable place, you know. But with the Seven of Swords, you were lying to yourself. You were deceiving yourself. You weren't seeing the truth for what it is. You didn't want to. You just kept pouring out love to this person with the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Um... And the hanged man in the reverse, okay? I feel like you're no longer waiting here. I feel like there's this kind of energy where you wanted this stable thing. Now, guys, this can be vice versa, okay? It can be vice versa, but some, someone here, one, I feel like it's you, Cancer, but, you know, it could be vice versa. Someone here was standing, okay? They were standing tall, wanting this connection, and the other person was just punching and kicking and hurting and stabbing and deceiving and lying and taking advantage, and, and here you are standing. No, 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 no. I know this is my person. I know this is the, meant that I'm, the person I'm meant to. So you took a beating. You took a mess 
massive, massive beating here, Cancer, okay? In the name of, um, I have faith, because you made a judgment call, and the judgment call is not a joke, okay? The judgment call just isn't any any decision. It's a major arcana. Cancer, you made this decision putting your all behind it, okay? Like, really putting your all behind this, okay? So you sat there and you took this massive beating from this person until finally, until finally, you didn't sit there anymore taking the beating. You said, you know what? It hurts too much. I'm sorry, it just hurts too much. Uh, the Hermit. We've got the Fool card and we have the Six of Swords. Um, see, the thing is, is that the Six of Swords is in the reverse. And I feel like with the Hermit card here, you didn't want to leave, Cancer. Even at even coming to this realization, you didn't want to leave. But I feel like with the Hermit, you're taking a step back, even if you didn't want to. You're doing the right thing, taking a step back because it hurts too much. And with the Fool card, you're realizing here that it is time to just start new. Cut your losses and start new. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Unknown card and the Queen of Cups, there you are, Cancer. You have no idea where this is going to lead you, but you do know that with the Eight of Pentacles, if you just do the right thing and put the work into healing and doing making the right decisions, Two of Cups, love will come. Have faith, Cancer, that love will come, okay? Tell me about the devil. We've got the Justice card, Libra Energy. This could have been a karmic cancer. This could have been a karmic, um, but I feel like you are right in, in, in feeling that this person is toxic because they've been treating you very unfairly. And this person's going to get their karma for what they did to you. The Moon card in the reverse. We've got the Nine of Swords. The more you wake up and see how unfair this person has treated you, how uh, you know abusive they've been, um, how toxic they've been, the more you're going to you're going to hurt. Okay. The more you allow the truth to sink in, because I feel like what you've been doing here is every time this person hurts you, you just kind of took that pain and shoved it down and let it slide. Took the pain, shoved it down, let it slide, you know, made excuses, did whatever you had to do to try to keep it together. Right. But that's not good, you know. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Eventually, you're going to stall out. Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. I feel like you're coming to the realization that this person just talks to hear themselves talk. That's it. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, the Strength card in the reverse, and the Ace of Wands. You're not investing in this anymore. You're setting yourself free with the Strength card in the reverse. And with the Ace of Wands, I feel like you're going to be pursuing... Um, you're going to be pursuing new options. Now, Cancer, this person may chase you. Knight of Wands, the King of, uh, excuse me, Knight of Wands, the Knight of, of Swords. Good Lord, I couldn't get that out. And the Devil. This Devil is going to chase you. They're going to chase you because, you know what I'm saying? Misery loves company. And this person's toxic and they're going to try to drag you down with them. You know, you're like a fun toy for them to play with. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, they're going to chase you because the tables are turning on them and they don't want that. And this has nothing to do with love per se. It's just, hey, come back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I was having so much fun screwing up your life. Come back, you know. So, um... Yeah, Cancer, you're starting to see this person for what they really are. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person was promising very little. This person had you waiting. A string along. A string along, string along, string along. Saying whatever they had to say in the moment. Meanwhile, you were investing all ten of your cups. The Sun in the reverse. You didn't want to see the truth. Three of Swords. You didn't want to see the truth, Cancer, because the truth hurt so much. Three of Swords here twice in the upright. The truth hurts so much, but it, you're, see, Ace of Swords, you're having that awakening. It just can't be ignored anymore, Cancer. It literally just, you can't ignore the truth anymore. Uh, Four of Swords, please. Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy, you need to heal here, Cancer. This person has put you through a lot. Knight of Cups in the reverse and the King of Cups. Cancer, listen. King and Queen of Cups is a true pair. You're about to, I feel like you don't know this, but this decision that you're about to make um, with leaving this person behind, Five of Swords and the Six of Cups, you don't see it now with the Moon card, but with the Sun card, you're going to be very, very, very happy. You have a, a Three of Cups and a Knight of, uh, excuse me, Three of Cups and a King of Wands here. You may be going out on a date with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries, okay? Possibly. It could be someone very good looking. It could be someone very charismatic, very fun to be around. Um, 
Uh, it doesn't have to actually be a fire sign, but I feel like you're going to go out with somebody here, Cancer, just on, you know, just to go out, just to, you know, it's, it's not going to be anything, but I feel like you're going to meet someone here with the four of wands and the king of pentacles that is going to be the love of your life, Cancer. Okay. Could it even be twin flame or divinely guided counterpart, king of pentacles. So we're leaving behind the page and we're leaving behind the night and we're moving, we're, we're upgrading Cancer. You're upgrading, okay? Upgrading to a true soulmate, a true pair, divinely guided counterpart, someone who is stable, um, someone who is stable. And I feel here, what's funny is that you're just dating with the Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles because you feel lonely. <laughs> you're not really even looking for it. You're just dating because you feel lonely and you just want to go out and have maybe someone to chill with and talk to. And you're going to run into the love of your life. You're about to run in to the love of your life, okay? Let's pull some oracle here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance. Oh, okay, okay. So we've got a win-win outcome is in the forecast, but you know what? I feel like that came out in reverse. Anyways, um, your hard work is paying off. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. So I feel like a win-win outcome is in the forecast. Why does it say that? Because you're going to leave and win and get what you want. And this person, it's no loss. I hate to say that. I know that's harsh and I'm very sorry. But this person really didn't invest anything. They weren't looking to invest anything. Um, you know, this person may even with the Knight of Wands have been speaking to multiple people at the time. This person really wasn't invested the way you were. So there's no loss here for them. Do you understand? So you get what you want and they, you know, it doesn't really phase them. But your hard work is paying off. So I know it's going to be hard waking up to the truth here. Um, but the end of this tough cycle is approaching cancer. Okay. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity clarity, guidance, and love messages for my cancers. So we've got fifth chakra, we've got angel of strength, and we've got the temple path. Yeah, I feel like you're being divinely guided to see yourself. Um, you're seeing your worth, you're seeing your body, your love as a temple, and you're starting to appreciate it. And you don't want to be around people that don't appreciate or worship you or your love. Okay, with the angel of strength, you're pulling back communication, you're not going to be speaking to this person anymore. And I feel like once you remove yourself from that, we've got blossoming abundance, and we've got the queen of pentacles there, woman holding a coin. You're going to find yourself in a relationship out of nowhere and you're not even expecting it. You may just go out one night because you're lonely. You may just start speaking to a random person because you're lonely. Um, we've got present power. We've got vast universe and we've got creative endeavor. Yeah. So, uh, and for some of you, this new person, you may actually marry and have children with this person, but you have a choice here, cancer. You know what I'm saying? You have a choice on what you have to make. If you close out this karmic cycle creative endeavor something new is going to begin like immediately like immediately you know what i'm saying like immediately spirit what guidance clarity do we have here unrequited love in the reverse what messages do we have here past life relationship clarity guidance love messages you love this past person you you love this person i mean you just you just gotta face it you love them tell me about my cancers please Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with one another. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And wedding. Okay, you're still going to be in love. Yeah, you're still going to be in love with your ex when you meet this person. Okay, you're still going to be in the process. We've got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. We have deception. Someone here is wearing a false self mask. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Separation time apart is apart from your time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So cancer, you're seeing the red flags. You're no longer saying, oh, fireworks, how pretty. No, no, no. You're like, no, though, those are red flags. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, so um, you're you're seeing the deception for what it is. You're seeing this person for who they are and you're releasing, okay? I feel like you are still going to be in love with this past person when you open up your heart to someone. When you're going to just go out on a date maybe and just, bleh, you know, just like just release and talk or whatever. And I feel like Spirit is saying, if you just keep an open mind, you're so May, may differ this may be someone that physically you don't usually go for they may be taller shorter blonde not brunette whatever you know i don't know you know but i feel like wedding this is going to be the person that you marry 
this is going to be the person that you marry. Okay. I love you guys and take care. Bye.